Richard, welcome to Asset Allocation and well done for a great panel yesterday. I'd like to pick up with some of the things that you touched on uh, yesterday, but firstly, can you give us a little bit of background about your company? Certainly. Um, Connectum is, as far as we know, the only fee-only based wealth management service available in Norway and certainly the only one dedicated to the use of exchange traded funds and passive investment strategies in its portfolio. We were founded in 2002 by the partners and we currently have approximately 100 million sterling under management for 30 clients globally. So in terms of the main advantages for your clients, what would you see that in terms of working with you? Firstly, I think it's got to come down to the results. The client is not going to stay with you if you don't produce the results, but I believe our passive methodology has produced good returns for our clients, particularly through the credit crisis when our clients, yes, like every other client, they experienced a bit of a downturn, but it wasn't as marked as most other providers. And secondly, and perhaps just as important is our complete independence. We have only fees as our source of income, the fees that our clients pay us, no other source of income, and that helps ensure our independence and that we're acting as a fiduciary and we're acting in the client's best interest at all times. So in, if you could perhaps give us a bit of information as to why you focus so heavily on passive investment strategies. We've done a lot of research into investing in what really works for the long term and all of the academic evidence points towards passive investment, i.e. the fact that over time the vast majority of managers fail to beat, fail to even match the benchmarks they're supposed to be measured against. Um, there may be over time one or two managers who do outperform, the only trouble is you'll never know in advance who they are. And as far as I know, there hasn't been a perfect crystal ball perfected yet. And that's what you need to pick those perfect managers. So index-based investing is the way to go. Obviously, you vary slightly. Why would a lot of investors still continue to put their faith in large banks and institutions, which obviously focus on picking stocks and active funds? But firstly, I don't know that any of us should trust big institutions. None of them really show themselves to be that good at looking after their own capital during the credit crisis, so why should we rely upon them to manage our own capital? I think that's uh, foolish. But secondly, the big problem is they've got an enormous marketing machine behind them. They're able to come out with all sorts of interesting facts and figures, um, big one-page adverts in the media that capture people's attention and blind them to what is really going on. And the fact is that the big institutions are, on the whole, ripping people off. Okay, so your specific advice to a potential client as to the factors they should um, weigh up in choosing an investment? I think there are only three things that you can really control when you're investing. Um, firstly, there's the risk that you take vitally important. I would suggest that you actually go through a process of assessing what your individual risk tolerance is. How much risk do you really want to take? What level of risk are you comfortable with? And what can you sleep with at night? You might want to engage an advisor to help you do that. Obviously that's going to be my advice. Secondly, costs. Morningstar came out with some research recently which showed that costs are the leading indicator of a fund's likely long-term performance. The lower the costs, the better the long-term performance. And we focus very heavily on managing costs through all levels of the procedure, through all levels of the investing procedure, whether that be trading, whether that be long-term investment and so on. But thirdly, there's a the structure, and that comes down to how you invest. What are the vehicles you use? How are they put together? And how do you manage the portfolio? How do you manage it on an ongoing basis, rebalancing to keep the risk levels even, etc. And very finally, where do you see the, the industry heading? I think there are a number of encouraging developments. I think you're seeing an increasing shift towards index-based investing, towards passive management. People are learning that taking a low-cost approach to their investments <laughs> is worthwhile, does pay off. I also unfortunately believe that we're getting a bit of complication. 
there are so many products and structures out there that people need to be sure about the advice they get. And I would suggest it's far better for them to pay for that advice and know that their advisor is on their side rather than going to somebody where the interest might be slightly mixed. Richard, thank you very much for your time.